uh, hello um, this is a short video I just want to um, do an intro for the uh, for our next project we're going to do so if you followed my channel you've already know that we have implemented a web server in Zig and there all all the uh, coding sessions almost all of them except one or two small ones and I did um, do a recap on what we did what I did offline um, they're all recorded they are available in YouTube and the links are both in github and YouTube and you can access them and also my Twitter account um, with the same username um, but you know I was just looking into some rust news and some newsletters about rust some watching some talks and i was wondering i have played with rust before i'm not completely new to rust um i was with zig but not with rust um and i was um just thinking um that this would be cool if i implement the same code the same features set of features so this project if you don't know how them means um someone who serves you um, it's basically a web server built on top of TCP we implement our own HTTP parser which is a really trivial, trivial thing to do it's async and it has some basic web server features it supports um, basic routing based on radix trees radix, radix routings uh, it supports query params path params basic stuff um, I want to see if we can implement this in Rust we probably can but also I want to see how we can um, and it also supports middleware I was looking at the list of the videos we did I want to see how the um, output how the the final code of the Rust implementation uh, can, can, uh, compares to the Zig implementation I can anticipate I'm gonna anticipate I don't I'm not sure but I'm gonna anticipate and maybe I'm wrong but I think the Zig, Zig code base would be simpler but the rust one is probably um, how can I say we can add more features to the rust one probably because of the more rich ecosystem and it's normal because Z has not even reached 1.0 it's not a fair um, contest but I'm just gonna do I mean the language of the Zig it's probably not gonna change so the language features are the same so I'm gonna see how those language features are used and how it compares to Rust and how Rust language features are compared to Zig to make the code simpler um, so the set of features we need is probably 4 or 5 so we need the HTTP parser, we need a TCP listener, and and we need it to be async, and uh, we need support for query parameters and path parameters, and routing using a radix tree. So these are the five things we need. Uh, we need. I'm gonna put the Rust implementation also in the same repo as the Zig, and I moved all the Zig implementation inside this Zig folder. This is the same code base, nothing changed. I just did one commit and created a README, and I'm gonna just now initiate um, the Rust uh, version. So if I do init dash dash lib, I think yes. If you take a look we have this and we go cargo test you can already see how um, yes you can already see how um, cargo package manager seems well, first of all cargo rust has a package manager you didn't have that in Zeek so that's um, that's because that's one of the things Zeek should reach to uh, Zeek should create for itself. Um, Rust is much more advanced and much more uh, mature um, so we should keep it keep this in mind in this series when we are doing coding so maybe just you know adding a library would be much much simpler in Z in Rust than Zig 
but other than that, I, and I don't think that we need much libraries actually. We did the zig one, I think, without any library. We can take a look. I think we did not use any kind of library. Yes, we just, uh, yes, we just, uh, we wanted to add libraries for regex and stuff, but we basically did nothing. Um, yes, that is basically it. So I'm gonna start implementing this in Rust. And that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the series on creating the web server in Rust coming. Thank you and goodbye.